There's been another deadly attack by the Somali militant group Al-Shabaab with a series of car bombs killing at least 10 people at a hotel in Mogadishu. The building is often frequented by Somali politicians. According to witnesses, at least two explosions were followed by bursts of gunfire. The identities of the victims are not yet known. Well, earlier I spoke to Abdurrahman Koronto from the BBC Somali service. I began by asking him what we do know about this attack. Uh, what happened is uh, just becoming clearer uh, after a few hours. Uh, we know that according to the Deputy Interior and uh, National Security Minister, uh, uh, he told us that uh, the attack happened uh, after a car attempted to go inside the hotel, but it was stopped at the gate after it hit another car. Uh, that other car was uh, occupied by uh, government police senior officer with his bodyguard and the ca first casualties were that uh, lot of people and uh, we have known that according to him uh, he also says the occupiers of the uh, uh, attack uh, the car that was uh, attack that had attacked the place were all wearing uh, um, uh, suicide uh, festis according to him and then he said after the firefight some of them were killed and some of them even exploded as he claimed so the information we are getting, there was another attack, uh, another car bomb, uh, but in total we know that at least 10 people were killed, including four uh, government police officers. But this is a heavily fortified hotel because it is very popular with Somali politicians. So how did they manage to get through? Uh, they did not go through the hotel. They didn't go inside the but hotel. get through the security that, fortifications. That is a question that's uh, been asked by every citizen of uh, Somali. When you know that area was attacked uh, at least three or four times, and the government troops were uh, very heavily armed around that area. It's not uh, far from the Somali airport as well, which is uh, guarded by African Union troops. So that question is unanswered until now. So people are saying if they cannot even secure a single road that links from the airport to the presidential, then what are they doing in Somalia? Not only the Somali government, but also the African Union troops.